Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of virtual reality and everything about the metaverse. All right, let's jump right into today's video, which is all about the updates on the meta and also the Meta Quest 2. Starting off very swiftly with the fact that Tyrell just released a tweet, a tweet, sorry, uh, very recently, which is all about how you know there's a lot of issues going on at the moment between exclusive titles coming out on standalone and you know PC VR when they're not being released at the same time and Tyrell says well and I quote I love the Walking Dead set and sinners I was incredibly uh, it was incredibly polished and complete game and I couldn't wait for uh, the second installment but I refuse to be forced to play the Quest 2 version of the game when the PC VR should be out already standalone exclusivity periods are out of touch and nonsense well I personally completely agree with you Taro if you're watching this video however the fact is that you know Christmas I do mention in my reply to him that Christmas is coming out and also the fact is that you know the help we I mean let me just read this after the first uh, actual reply that I put um, you know Quest 2 covers loans marketing you know if uh, the business angle is Christmas is coming out and if Quest 2 covers loans, marketing, rent, utilities, staff, taxes, etc. Then SteamVR, Pico XR, you know, won't be a priority first of all. But secondly, if Steam, Nvidia, AMD, Intel or, you know, whoever is in the space of building custom PCs or PCs that are PC VR ready, they need to bring down the price as well. Because the fact is that, well, if they're so expensive to build and you're going to be you know, paying fifteen hundred dollars or two thousand or three thousand or four thousand dollars, whatever it might be for your PC build, then at the end of the day, it's unreasonable to believe that you know studios are going to make PC VR a uh, a, a a a priority. And secondly, they can also double down, meaning that they could first release on one platform, uh, put all their efforts in the PR to get as much publicity as possible, get the FOMO running, and then release on another platform and you know repeat, rinse and repeat, as they say, and do all the PR again. So that means that they will get twice the amount of coverage, twice the amount of public relations, twice the amount of marketing, uh, which again will increase the sales for the studio. And then secondly, uh, I put another uh, tweet reply to him, which, you know, let's not be hypocrites here, guys. Let's be uh, very forthcoming and, and you know, uh, public about this. The fact is, and I put also, if content creators, content creators were to promote more PC VR, myself included, uh, that will help the community to stop buying a Quest 2 or a Pico. That means, for example, if we were to do less videos about it, or if we were to change, for example, our uh, you know our profile picture and we were to promote PC VR, um, you know, uh, more than KOLs. Uh, you know, the fact is that us KOLs or influencers do contribute to 30% of uh, Quest 2 and Pico and whoever you know brands in general's sales. So if we don't do it, uh, but I put we don't do it for the same reasons as the studios. That means that the studios will promote Quest 2 more because they get more money from it, etc. Well, we don't promote you know PC VR more for the same reasons, which is well we <laughs> by promote by KOLs promoting Quest 2 or Pico, uh, we will get more subs, we will get more clicks, uh, we'll get more views. You know, that's just the fact. And if you look at all the various different influencers who have been promoting uh, Quest 2 over the last, you know, year or so, then... <laughs> You know, come on guys, as I mentioned, let's just not be a hypocrite about this. The fact is, if we want to make a change in this industry, then we also need to be part of that change and contribute more towards promoting, um, you know, uh, PC VR titles and PC VR manufacturers. For example, Hubris is coming out very soon. It's one of the most amazing PC VR titles that I can think of. And I'm personally super hyped that it's coming out on PC VR first before they're doing any form of adaptation on you know uh, standalone, but if they were approached by a standalone company and paid money to develop there first, or if they found uh, a, a means to adapt the graphics, the level that it would suit standalone, then I'm sure that at the end of the day, perhaps some of the things may occur there as well. So other news in the space of Meta is the fact that Zuckerberg has said that he will continue to uh, invest you know as much money as possible in his plans to develop the metaverse despite the fact that he has laid off more than you know to some reports according between 11,000 to 30,000 13,000 excuse me 
uh, employees, and that is a drastic number. Although, to be very honest with you, a lot of other brands have done very similar things in order to bring down uh, what they do is they will sell off a lot of their company shares, create all this hype and all this uh, drama, layoffs and all these kind of things to bring the share price down. And then basically what will happen is once the share price is at a very low or as low as possible, they'll start to buy back those shares and then rinse and repeat and start to contribute towards the revenue um, of you know those companies. But you know the fact is that the metaverse has had 10 billion US dollars in investment by Meta at Meta uh, directly. So he is not looking to stop regardless of the layoffs or regardless of skepticism in the actual industry. And he just published, Zuckerberg himself published a video on Instagram just a few hours ago, uh, less than a day ago, to show the latest changes, the fact that you can record um, you know, uh, mixed reality inside of the MetaQuest Pro, and we will look at that very shortly. However, all this kind of hype and things doesn't seem to sit well with actual investors and also with the actual, let's say, financial industry and people who invest in Meta. They just aren't, board, aren't on board with what he is doing, uh, criticizing him and, you know, hoping that basically he will stop investing or stop doing things uh, in the metaverse. But we all know that, you know, probably will not happen as the metaverse is the future. All right, let's talk about the actual um, new updates, which is the MetaQuest version 47 updates of the MetaQuest in this latest uh, tweet that they actually had uh, put. And then of course, I went to the link and I will put the link in the description below. Now, just FYI, you will need a MetaQuest account in order to run, you know, your MetaQuest 2. And let's be very transparent here, although I can't be a hypocrite either because I am very pro uh, Pico and, you know, ByteDance have purchased Pico and they also have all the issues in terms of the, um, you know, safety for data, uh, you know, all these kind of things. And we also know that Meta do use our data for, uh, you know, subliminal manipulation in terms of what goes on in the world uh, politically and also, um, you know, for their advertisers. So let's not be hypocrite there, but you do need uh, MetaQuest to account in order to run the uh, quest and all these various different things. Just disclaimer there. And also, I just want to talk about our uh, sponsor of the day before we run into this, uh, which is VR Dash Wave dot store. Uh, you can get a five percent discount uh, when you use the promotional code VR Essentials. Do go to the website, you know, VR Dash Wave dot store, where they basically are one of the leaders in the space in providing adapters adapter prescription lenses uh, for all types of different VR headsets, including the MetaQuest uh, 2 and also, of course, uh, Pico, uh, Pico 4 and also HP Reverb G2, PSVR, you know, a whole bunch of different headsets there. I personally have been using them for more than two years now. I can guarantee you that as far as I'm concerned, the products are very good and there are very few amount of bad reviews about them. So as far as I'm concerned, definitely recommend them. Uh, but I haven't tried other brands, so do try the brands if you wish to. But if you want to capitalize on the promotional code and get a discount, then for sure, use the promotional code VR Essentials. Link and details in the description below. All right, so moving on swiftly to the actual changes of MetaQuest build 42 point, uh, 47, sorry, uh, point oh, release notes. For example, these features and enhancements will become available starting the week of November 28, apparently, and will be pushed to MetaQuest Pro, MetaQuest 2, and other MetaQuest headsets, apparently. So perhaps MetaQuest 1, who knows? I'm not quite sure. Does it still exist? Is this still out there? Do leave a comment below if you still have the Oculus Quest 1. Love to know your thoughts on how it's been going on. Um, we're adding, so background audio playback, MetaQuest Pro only. We're adding a new experimental feature that will allow you to listen to your favorite tunes and all podcasts in the background. This will be available on a browser as well as progressive web applications. PWAs. This will be rolling out gradually, they mention. Mixed Reality Capture, MetaQuest Pro only. Share the magic of Mixed Reality with friends and family on MetaQuest Pro devices. You'll now be able to capture photos and videos while using Mixed Reality in pass-through. This will be rolling out gradually. Now, we all know that this was causing a lot of controversy in the past because Meta originally did not want this feature to be enabled because it would create privacy potential issues. So it'd be great to know if there is 
going to be, excuse me, a pop-up that will come up when you enable this to let people know, to be aware that potentially it could be dangerous uh, in allowing people who view the video to know where it's been captured or not. So do leave a comment below if you are a MetaQuest Pro owner uh, when this will be rolling out. Although we do know that MetaQuest Pro sales aren't that great simply because, you know, well, first of all, uh, other manufacturers, including HTC, are leading the space in enterprise. So not many people actually are purchasing Meta simply because because of all the privacy issues and concerns that it's creating. Although I'm not saying that they haven't sold things, I'm just saying that they're not the leaders in that space. And also MetaQuest Pro is so expensive and after all the reviews that have been coming out, obviously hasn't been that great in terms of some of the features for the price that it is being rolled out at and it is not meant as a consumer product it's that simple um so anyway let's move forward as the metaquest pro uh, sorry the metaquest 3 is supposedly going to be coming out next year so it'll be very interesting to see the differences between the quest pro and of course the quest 3 both in terms of features but also pricing if you're excited do leave a comment below media sync we're making it easier to view edit and share your photos and videos you capture in vr media will now automatically sync to your metaquest mobile app from your headset you can turn this off by going to camera settings and disabling the sync to media and metaquest mobile app setting i'm not quite sure what this means does this mean that you'll be able to do something similar to for example you know, uh, with DJI drones or, you know, with, with certain VR 360 apps where after you capture the actual footage, you can actually edit it inside of your mobile phone by shortening, shortening it shortening excuse me the footage or by you know copy pasting some of the footage and creating different layers or editing on the fly i'm not quite sure what this means or whether it means that you can um you know change some of the coloring or some of the brightness the contrast or whether it just means that you know it'll be saved on your phone and then boom you can share it straight away it'd be great to know what this actually means if you have this do leave a comment below It'd be great to know exactly what this means. MetaQuest mobile app updates. We're improving performance across the MetaQuest mobile app and adding new features. You can start, find, and jump into a multiplayer session with your friends directly from the home screen. We revamped the device management screen to make it easier to know when your headset needs to be charged. Okay, I'm not quite sure where this, whether this feature will be super useful because we all know that MetaQuest already has some of these features which enable you to jump straight into a multiplayer via, for example, parties and various other different means inside of the actual headset itself. But if you find it useful, do smash the likes and also leave a comment below if you are, you know, very excited about this kind of feature. We also do know that Pico very recently, by the way, did release the parties feature inside of their own headset. So, and also avatar system. So it's going to be very interesting to see how, you know, Meta is going to compete with Pico. Although Pico, to be honest with you, are leaps and bounds behind uh, the quest when it comes to a lot of different things, including, of course, hand tracking. But, you know, I'm just saying that, you know, Meta have to accelerate, you know, uh, push, push the mushroom as it were, or put the foot on the pedal to accelerate as much as possible because other competitors, for example, Pico, are starting to uh, catch up. You know, maybe there'll be there'll be a year behind within six months, and then you know at the same level or within a few months behind. You know, within another year, very very possible. Okay, so shareable wish lists with this update, you will be able to make your app wish list public and send the link to friends and family. You can modify your wish list from the store la store tab. Excuse me, uh, your headset or the MetaQuest mobile app. Friends and family will be able to directly gift apps from your wish list. You can also purchase MetaQuest digital gifts cards, uh, which are redeemable from any app or game in the MetaQuest store. So again, I think gift sharing and gift wrapping is something that's very big. Christmas, of course, is coming up. So this is something that will be, I think, very useful. If you agree, smash the likes and leave a comment below. And by the way, before we carry on, I just want to share some uh, details about us other sponsor which is called next level next level racing excuse me if you are looking for some kind of racing rig for your quest 2 to augment it and bring it to the next level then i highly recommend that you go and check out their website because they have some very cool rigs there and do go and check out the other video that i did post although it is not quest related because 
let's be honest guys I don't have the quest 2 I don't have any quest products and I haven't made a quest video for so long so I did use the Pico 4 but it is useful if you have a quest 2 is all I'm saying so go and check out the next level 2 website as well as the wave dash um, wave the waves website as well excuse me all right moving on swiftly view and edit avatar in meta horizon home we've added the ability to view and edit your avatar in your home you'll now see your avatar's arms and hands when in your home and if you haven't created your avatar yet you'll see a default avatar you can also view and edit your avatar by interacting with the new mirror we've added to home so that means that there's also a new mirror inside of home as well this will be rolling out gradually and will be initially available in four environments there is desert terrace space station winter lodge and cascadia do let us know your favorite by the way environment you know in the comments below love to know whether you know this home environment thing that they rolled out previously has actually been useful you to useful to you have you been able to make new friends from it do you find that it enhances your quest performance leave a comment below that'll be very awesome to know because to be honest the home environment inside of the pico 4 isn't great a lot of them are very blurry and you know just very non-interesting to be honest with you uh, in addition you can now move around in your home even when the universal menu is open press your controller thumbs forward to see a set of potential hotspots then aim at one of the hotspots and release the thumbstick to teleport we are also updating the avatar editor this will be rolling out gradually now the avatar in terms of showing the hands and things it is true that with hand tracking it was shown just as a hand and it was i think it was transparent so will this help you to feel more like you're experiencing you know vr in a lifelike kind of way or you don't really care about these things what do you think about the avatars by meta i, mean, I personally think they look like crap they make us look like you know uh kind of uh, amber Amber and Fitch kind of, you know, publicity back in 1990s and 2000s where they really promoted, you know, exclusion and it was every, everything was very white and it was all about, you know, uh, how young you look or how cool you look. I really think that Meta actually promote exclusion to a very high degree, even though they do promote, of course, different racial, uh, you know, races in terms of avatars. You can be, you know, uh, American African or you can be Indian or you can be whatever it might be. But at the end of the day, it doesn't promote age it doesn't promote inclusion in terms of you know how old you look or all these kind of things it makes us look very polished very much like puppets leave a comment below smash the likes i'd love to know your thoughts on this as well let's open the conversation as we were universal menu customization we want to reduce the time it takes for you to get into the action when you put on your headset you can now pin and unpin apps from your library to your universal menu for quicker access to your favorite games and experiences hover over in your library and select the three dots to see the option to pin to your universal menu this will be rolling out gradually are you guys excited by this is this something that you're going to think is very useful i personally think it's okay to have i don't know i don't have the quest 2 i can't talk in terms of those terms i'm being very transparent and honest about this so do leave a comment below and smash the likes if you think that this is going to be helpful for you accept followers requests from invites we've made it easier to accept followers requests by adding a button to the notification you receive when someone requests to follow you again i think it's very cool that you know honestly speaking that meta do promote in terms of multiplayer of course it's all about social environments social multiplayer gameplay this is what vr is all about come on let's be honest guys it is really what is going to make vr in the future if every single app was all about playing yourself without other people then gaming in general wouldn't have come where it is today if you agree smash the likes guys capture controller shortcut you can now capture images and videos using a controller shortcut to quickly take a photo hold the oculus home button then press the right controller trigger to quickly record a video hold the oculus home button then long press the right controller trigger now guys this is taken from a leaf of the pico 4 because of course they did release the controllers with a specific button that allows you to capture video and also capture video so it just goes to show that everybody is taking you know some ideas from the other everyone is copying one or the other copying is the best form of compliments let's be honest guys i feel that personally speaking it is amazing that i can just record pictures or video with my 
uh, you know, a Pico 4 very easily by just pressing a button. So I definitely think that this is going to be great for also people who use the Quest 2. If you agree, smash the likes and leave a comment below if you're looking forward to this specific uh, update by Meta. Meta Quest Pro Touch Controllers version 47 will also unlock, unlock, excuse me, Meta, Meta Quest Pro Touch Controllers compatibility with Quest 2. These self-track controllers feature true touch haptics and fine motor controllers like precision pinch motion joystick and stylus tip for even more intuitive vr experiences if you do have those controllers and if the controllers batteries do last longer than what people have been saying please smash the likes as well leave a comment below we'd love to get your um, feedback on that and do remember that the controllers uh, for the metal quest pro are extremely expensive they're 400 plus dollars so you know is it really worth getting them if you know the quest 2 costs that much of course they will be most undoubtedly compatible with the quest 3 come on we have to assume that they will be otherwise why would would they make them compatible with the Quest 2 if they won't be compatible with the Quest 3? So, but you know, when the Quest 3 comes out, it's very possible that those controllers will also be packaged with the Quest 3 as well. So it might not be worth buying if you think that it will be working with the Quest 3 since the Quest 3 controllers might be exactly the same. All right, and then lastly, camera panel, the sharing panel where you share capture content from is now called the camera panel. So there has been a change for this specific uh, update as well. So do let us know in the comments below guys, what are your favorite uh, changes or updates that you feel will be most worthwhile for you? Leave a comment below guys. And again, thank you so much for your support to the channel. I just want to give some shout outs. And before I give shout outs, just to let you guys know that I would like to also thank Asus, who one of our official partners to the channel now. And tomorrow I will be releasing a video all about, you know, is it better to have Wi-Fi 5, Wi-Fi 6? And we will be rolling out over the last, uh, the next, excuse me, four weeks, a whole ton of different videos comparing different routers especially this for pc vr people is going to be very useful because we're going to review you know wi-fi meshes including a router that hasn't even come out yet it will be released next year so i'm very excited to test that router out router out excuse me as i have it here and all types of different things so guys if you are into wi-fi things and all this kind of stuff to enhance the experience in vr so do look out for that and hit the notification bell after you subscribe as of course i'll be rolling out a whole bunch of other videos about vr all right, so let's just thank some of the people who have joined the channel very, very recently. Let me just go to date subscribe. Just want to thank Draco R, Speeding Deacon, Chris Lowe, Ruben Acesvis, Harley Kowalski, Jacob Young, Paul Neeson, JFez511, Daniel McDonnell, Lucas Gottlisbien. Thank you so much, guys. You guys are so freaking amazing. But I just want to thank more people uh, you know to the channel as well give more shout outs to you guys including Ramonas Bitruma Vitius uh, Oscar Bai sorry if I'm you know if I'm really not pronouncing your your name correctly I'm so sorry about that Blue Jail uh, White Man FT Madman Slayer Algeria Gray uh, Jesus Fraza Jesus uh, Vapor Trial 56 Gaston Ice Previn Kumar Fronic Yuri Fire Lee Liu Katali Frenchy, Ismail Abtekin, Chris Hart, Gerardo Garcia Sanz, Carly De Pascal, Robert Abda, Walter Lavis, Jeffrey Marks, Matthew Race, Kelly Zyke and Tiz 844, Gunlop, Drift Apprentice, Brian Carvel, Adina Magnonia, Robert Makowski, Leroy Lockwood, Jay Rissinit, Erling Wien, Winin, Gabriel Pavanet, Eric A, Don Mocho, Ben Feltz, Nadio El Hapti, Lowy Cowboy, and finally The Way Forward SG. Wow, I love that name, The Way Forward SG. Great name to end on as well, guys. Thank you so much for all your likes, your, your subscribes, your everything. Really, without you, this channel would just not be where it is today. So again, thank you very much. And do get a 5% discount when going to the vr-wave.store's website. So when you buy your next prescription lenses. All right, guys, take it easy. I'll see you in another video. And remember to be part of the membership squad by hitting the join button. All right, guys, take it easy. See you later.